My Lord, it says no greater love has no man than this that has laid down his life for his friend. Amen. 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 So the scripture also tells us that God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of his saints. Amen. Amen. And to be had in reverence among all those that are about him. Amen. Amen. So we're going to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth now, and even like the scripture says to sow unto ourselves in righteousness and reap in mercy and break up our fallow ground for it's time to wait and seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon us. Amen. Amen.
eyes of this unfailing old God, by the washing of thy word, Lord Jesus, that we may say like Peter of old, Lord, where can we go for thou only hast the word and it is right. Lord, we come here to hear thy word, O oh God. Lord, anoint the heart, Lord, that we may hear and retain thy word is in our heart, Lord, that we may not sin against thee, O oh God. And knowing all also that the word declare, be careful for nothing. But by prayer and supplication, let thy request be made unto the Lord. Lord, we put up to thy throne of grace today our request, Lord. Lord, we know that thou art an always sufficient God, that thou art able to save and to heal our souls, our bodies, Lord. We present unto thee, O God, this very hour, a request for our brother Thomas, O God, that is dear in our heart, Lord Jesus. And also, Lord, we present unto thee, O God, this uh, our brother, Lord Jesus, whom thou knowest, Lord, I forgot his name. But, oh God, we are standing before thee, knowing that thou knowest everything. Oh God, and now we ask, oh God, thy blessing for those who have traveled for long distance. Oh, they have come to see the wisdom of our God. Lord, let everyone be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. And they depart from this house. They have to be convinced that our God was Lord. And now, oh God, we are like thy request, our request for thy word. Let thy word come in. And let it flow, O oh God, that we may know that thou art here watching us. For all these things we ask for the glory of God. Amen. Lord, help us to respond to your calling this morning. Lord, to your love and mercy, Lord Jesus. O oh Lord, may you bless everyone, Lord. May you bless every gift that's given this morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that for all my heart that every heart here may be laid out this morning, Lord Jesus. That your throne, O oh Lord, we have golden things. Amen. 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 Amen.
a humble understanding to Amen. ourselves and to repent and to die daily. Amen. That we might be the bride of Amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. For well, remember one thing that the the at the foolish version they knew that the Lord was coming. Now just about everybody else that was in the fundamental, they do not believe in the rapture. So therefore, there's only a few in this hour that have heard this message that, know that there is going to be a rapture shortly. Amen. 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 Pentecost are looking for 20 years from now. But remember now, those that are supposed to be in the rapture and do not have their vessels, their lamps filled, they are the ones who go into outer darkness. The one in the message who know that the Lord is coming for the cry came, go out to meet him. Amen. Amen. The rest of them are blind to this message. They, 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 they don't even know it. Amen. Therefore, those in the message have been told to go out to meet him and to have their lamps filled with oil. Amen. Amen. But thousands have refused and have not obeyed that simple word of God. But we thank God that he has given us that vision here this morning to have our lamps Filled with the oil. Amen. Amen. That we might be able to meet the Lord. Amen. We thank God for Brother Bob Lambert, Amen. for Brother Hunt, myself. Amen. Through God's grace, He's given us this understanding, and many don't understand it, but the Bible that the wise would understand. Amen. And make himself ready. Amen. So we thank God for Brother Bob this morning, for he preaches the same thing. Amen, I believe. Amen. Brother Parnell, he came along and preached the same thing. Amen, I believe. So we thank God for the men of God. That God has given a vision. And our Amen. souls have been greatly blessed all the Hallelujah. And know that God has is ready to fill any soul in here today. Amen. That is open and repentant and ready to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let us, uh, <coughs> Brother Bob, come forward. Let us pray. <coughs> <coughs> Hallelujah. This morning. Fred, of all you. Uh, Precious thing of God, like precious birth of faith, and like Peter said, that unto us is an exceedingly precious promise. Amen. That we might be made partakers of the divine nature. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, as I was, uh, yesterday I was trying to see a lot of my friends have seen for a while. And Praise the Lord. He did this morning, Brother, Amen. Lord, Brother Russell and Sister Mary and uh, who else here that may be here that I don't see. The Lord bless you. And I'm sure that he is blessing you already. Amen. Hunt and I was out yesterday talking to a great minister of great education and everything. I got home and I got disappointed and kind of downhearted. I went home and I thought, Fell out and just my whole day was wasted. So I was wore out. I didn't have no message for you. Uh, yesterday, I should have been waiting on the Lord. I was over there talking to that minister for about six hours, which more than likely never accomplished anything. Because the Bible said, You see your calling, brother. Not many high and nobler call. And he, in his own mouth, said that we lived in a different social realm than he did, being uneducated and poor. And I, <clears throat> that's true. And I thought, well, that's just the way uh, Satan wants to do, you know, get you running here and there, you know, and taking up all your time when you could be in prayer waiting upon the Lord. Amen. So I laid down in bed last night and didn't get a message. And I just uh, lay down in bed and Took a little nap and set the alarm clock and got up about three and uh, hated the thought the alarm clock sounds so loud I jumped up and turned it off to keep me waiting Brother Arch up and he was up to see you there, Brother John. God bless you, just now see you. And uh, jumped up and turned the alarm clock off and he was up praying himself. And the uh, Lord gave me a message and I really want to preach this in the name of the Lord to this morning. I hope you're seated. And, uh, you know, we just get something. The Lord lays it for our heart. And uh, we just trust that it's the Lord giving us the message. But I can really say I believe the Lord gave me this message because I thought, I started to tell Archie, I said, tell them to sing these type of songs. And I said, 
uh, started to tell him this. I said, Brother Archie, would you tell Joe on one Sunday? He said, what, what was it? And I said, no. I said, just let that go. And I said, no, I'll take care of it. So when I came downstairs, uh, I was wanting a confirmation from the Lord from this message that I'm going to preach to this morning. And uh, as I started up the stairs, you started to sing the song, Near the Cross. Is that right? Amen. And when I walked in, a surge of the power of God hit me. Amen. Amen. So I, I sure want to preach this message this morning in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank sure, the Lord to God. Y'all know I'm being very serious this week. I'm sure Joe would even know that. And I wouldn't say something like that. Just, you know, just to make a feel in. I, there's lots of things I could preach about just having a feel in for something to say. Uh, I'm going to talk to you just a minute before I start preaching. I don't, when you look at Brother Bob, you know, I just might think of all the mistakes that you know that Brother Bob made in the uh, since he's been testifying of the Lord Jesus grace. Because if you get your eyes on me or or uh, uh, Brother Branham or whoever he is, uh, he's a man. Brother Branham is a man. I know a lot of people think I believe that. But that spirit's been around a long time. If any spirit that thinks that William Branham is a man is an I'll say that. Is that can I hear an amen? Amen. 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 A natural born man. Amen. He loves his wife. His wife bears him children. Amen. And yet there is groups all over the country Amen. now are letting that serpent rise up right out of that water again. Only they got a new revelation to it and he's the son of God. So let's all go out in Arizona and reap our possession out there. I'm telling you this morning, and I know this friend sitting here this morning from Connecticut. And I don't pull no corners. This is the time when the Bible says, Rebuke open. <coughs> Amen. 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 Rebuke open and speak frankly. We've been doing that Amen. here all week long. Is that right? Amen. Amen. All week Amen. Long. Amen. Now, I know Brother John and Brother Russell and Sister Mary here are saints that I used to pastor. Y'all know that I was very young in the Lord, just had met the Lord. And the Bible said, let not a novice be a minister right away, lest he be lifted up and tied, and the devil take hold of him. I've been deceived for the devil on on one thing, trying to find my place in the body of Christ. That now a lot of people have misjudged me, and that's all right because it has humbled me. Amen. Hallelujah. But I don't look at my failures. I keep repenting and fasting and pressing on to the high calling which is in Christ. And if there's anyone here that says he has not sinned, he is a liar. The truth is not any. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> But I have always known from personal experience with the Lord before I knew the Word of God that there was going to be a bride. Amen. That's why I came to Connecticut. I told them up there, stay here. Leave the Word of God. And God is going to raise up a group here in New England that will give judgment out to these ungodly denomination churches that they might see Jesus Christ. Amen. I said that. I preached that. I preached a five-fold ministry. Y'all know that. I've always believed that and never did change that Amen. because it's the Word of God. Amen. If there is any person here this morning that does not believe, don't look at the minister's mistakes now. If you're going to look at that, 
You see, if you was around Brother Brandon, you would find more faults in him than you know what to do with. Him. Amen. I guarantee that. Amen. I, I was drowning hunting up there. If I wanted to, I could see things that I could really, really be stumbled on. I mean, if I was looking for it. Amen. Just Amen. 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 Don't, don't look at this one. Don't look at that. that Amen. 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 Keep your eyes on you. Amen. 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 There is going to be assembly. There won't be many, but there will be assembly. Amen. All over the world that are in a IFO body ministry for the perfecting of the saints. They will all be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Waiting Amen. upon the latter eight. Now I'll just say that in the name of the Lord. Amen. You say Amen. That in the name. Amen. I said in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The, Amen. 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 the devil has deceived you people of the Amen. And it is an antichrist spirit that has deceived you. Now I challenge any one of you, I'll go with you on the phone for the brands in my hometown and I can contact you. Billy Paul and I have become very close in the last few months. I can get him on the phone and if you want to, I was right there when two men came from Connecticut and down in Jeffersonville with this antichrist spirit that Brother Brandon was the Son of God. I discerned the spirit on him. And I also, not saying one word, I said, Brother, don't say nothing about it. I said, Now you just pray about this revelation, God. And don't tell nobody about it. I said, Because you'd be in trouble now if you, if, if you spread this out to somebody else. So he went right over, and lo and behold, and I walked three or four other ministers, and they came and told me the very same thing. And it got around to Billy Paul, and Billy Paul called them both in. I was right there. And he really gave them a hard rebuke. Told them to go back where they was. One man got all upset at the other man because he was the one that gave him the revelation. He had it all started from the tape where they said, Come and stand by my side. That's how I got started. So I, I felt so sorry for them. I didn't know what to do. They were tired and the children were wore out. And my heart just bled for them. Because I can see good in it, good in it. Because you know, people that sell their homes and and move her out in the place uh, to to follow to try to follow her Jesus, they found the love of the Lord. Amen. Amen. But I, right there, when Billy Paul <coughs> said, "I want to take you both before Daddy, <coughs> both before Daddy for an interview," because I can tell you that you're fool, and they wouldn't do it. Now, friend, there's something wrong. Amen. But I'm going to tell you before I preach this message this morning because y'all know what's been happening here this week. Did God confirm? Amen. Amen. Did God confirm the second? Amen. Did the people get filled with the Holy Spirit? Amen. He said he confirmed his word. Amen. And I guarantee you, he'll confirm his word this morning. Amen. The fire of God will fall and fill people. Amen. 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 That's what's needed now. Amen. Amen. I don't care who you are. When we and Bram goes in the rapture, if he's on earth, which I doubt verse is, will be. I believe Brother Brown has stated frankly enough that he will be martyred. Amen. What you going to do then? Amen. Amen. You must have a personal experience <coughs> with, Amen. Amen. with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Filled with Amen. the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 You're not even, even, even in the bride if you're not filled with the Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. You are Amen. awesome. Amen. And I know all those people <coughs> out in Arizona. I love them. They say they're, they're precious people. But friend, there's all kinds of bad spirits out there. Spirit rose up. Billy Paul told me right where the spirit come from. That was up on these two men that came. You know who they are. I'm not going to call their name. <coughs> he said, well, Bob, you know where the spirit came from? I said, how's it? He, he said, it came out of Prescott. Amen. Friend, whoever you are here this morning, you believe that. Repent while the blood still on the mercy seat. Amen. Because that is a terrible thing to believe in the hour that we're living in. Amen. I, help each one of you. I just thought 
I tell you that because I was out there and heard all these things with my own ear. So, you know, like Brother Bram said, if you were going down a stream in a canoe, and I didn't warn you, I wouldn't. What, what, what would you think I would? I love all those people. <clears throat> Let's bow our heads in the word of prayer. <laughs> My Heavenly Father, I'm so unworthy to preach to your people. Lord. I sat here this morning and all know any of my mistakes. <coughs> I, I confess to them this morning in this prayer and ask them to say for you. You have already, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes. Lord, I, I pray that, that you would somehow move me out of the way this morning, that they would see Jesus. Yes, and that you would confirm this message that you have given me this morning. And Father, that you would fill every soul here with the Lord. And I know that you are. <coughs> Father, that's all I want to be. It's just a little disciple of Jesus, lifting up the Word of God, trying to be a blessing to my brothers and my sisters that I love with all my heart. Now, Lord, you come. Yeah, Lord, let us love one another, for the day is very evil. And I pray and ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 As I said, I, I was wanting the Lord to uh, give me a confirmation that I had the message for this morning. As I walked up the stairway, you sang this song. Near the cross. If I ever felt a surge of, how many felt a, 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 a just abnormal surge of power sweep through all one time that I walked up the stairs and you sang that song? Can you feel it? Can you say amen? Well, that's a confirmation, isn't it? When you feel his presence. Amen. Now, I'd like to preach this morning a cross the bear. A cross the bear. Song uh, that we'll <coughs> turn our Bibles open to uh, Matthew 16 21. I love this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, that's what makes, makes me know that Jesus loves me. Amen. Because I make many mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen.
Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Wonderful scripture. Amen. The disciples didn't understand what the cross meant, what Calvary meant at that present time. The only thing that they had their mind on was for their nation to be exalted above the heavens and the earth. And they had that great hope in the Messiah, Jesus Christ, that he was the one that was able to exalt him above all the other people of the Amen. earth. And that's the only thing that they had in mind. So when Jesus was trying to show Peter and the disciples that he didn't come here to live after his own will, he didn't come here to do all the things that he wanted to do, but he came here for one purpose, for one purpose, to purchase us by his atonement. Amen. Amen. God's great government. God is a God of justice. And the word justice means fair, Amen. equality, without partiality. And the greatest justice there was in the world was God himself. Amen. And so God could find no man in heaven and earth Amen. that could pay the price for the penalty of sin. So God, being the great justice and having a law, and a law is a justice unto itself. Without justice, there is no law. And God's great justice required that a blood atonement be made for sin. Amen. And God's justice satisfied was that God himself come down and tabernacle himself and his son. Amen. And he called that son Jesus. Amen. Jesus was born of a virgin Mary. Amen. And the angel said, Mary, that holy thing which is born in thee, said I, it is. shall save his people. Amen. 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 So God came down himself, made himself a body. Amen. And Amen. purposed it in that body. He put his will down inside of that body. Amen. Amen. He didn't put anybody else's will in there. Amen. He put God's own will in there. Amen. He put God's soul in that body. Amen. He put God's spirit in that body, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And I want to tell you, if you ever get full of the Holy Ghost, You'll lose your will. Amen. You'll lose your will and you'll take on God's will. Amen. God's will is to all I believe. Yes, sir. God predestinated another body about the same time that would not be born with just his own will, yet he had his own will. But he was going to put another will down inside him. And that man's name was John. And we find out when John was six months old and hadn't been born out from his mother's womb yet, there came a man. Is that right? That hadn't been already formed yet. But just a seed placed down in a little Virgin Mary. And that woman, Virgin Mary, had down inside of her God's will and God's plan. And it was going to be called Jesus when it was born. Amen. Amen. But at that time, he walked in this house, Mary did. And there was another woman that inside of her had a, a, a little body that was forming. Is that right? Amen. And it was well underway. It was six months old. Amen. Not long until it was going to come forth into the world. Amen. And it was not going to live after, after its will either. Amen. He was going to do the will of the Father also. Amen. And that was to pay the word of God. Amen. Amen. We find out when Mary come in there, Elizabeth, as soon as that Holy Ghost, Mary was 
full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because he had the Holy Ghost inside of him. Amen. She had the tabernacle of God down inside of him. And when God tabernacle down inside of the Virgin Mary, making him a little body wrapping around that wheel, Amen. he walked in there. And that other little body was filled with the Holy Ghost that he might not do his will. Amen. By the time he come forth out of his mother's womb, but he would do the will of God. Amen. Amen. We find that through hardship he was driven out into the wilderness from his birth. Amen. Amen. He was driven out into the wilderness. He had no matches to lay on. He had no good food to eat. My friend, he ate them old nasty, dirty locusts. Amen. And honey. Amen. My goodness, can't you see that? Amen. God had a cross to bear. And he never did lay the cross down from the time he was born, from the time he had his head cut off. Amen. He did the will of God. Amen. He went out and stayed in the presence of God. Amen. He come out of the presence of God with the word of God. Amen. Amen. True. Amen. Amen. We see what a price John paid. Amen. When Jesus Christ gave the greatest tribute to that man that it could ever be given to anybody. Amen. He said, What went you out to see? We shake him away. Amen. Now I said, You went out to see a prophet. Take him all of that prophet. Amen. You went out to see a man that took up his cross in the will of God. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine a man living out in the wilderness to the rain? Through the storm? No, nothing other than the savages of life. Oh, and how, oh. Don't let me run ahead of my man. God, I want to thank the sound of your heart by the Spirit this morning. Amen. Did only the will of God at the time that he was born. And then after all of that, he had to go out in prison and lay his life down for the cross. He couldn't lay the cross down because the kingdom of God was dependent upon Tom at that time. God couldn't fail. God was dependent upon him. He was a measure that was the forerun. Amen. 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 True. Amen. 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 We see what a price John paid. Amen. When Jesus Christ gave the greatest tribute to that man, that it could ever be given to anybody. Yeah. He said, what went you out to see? We shake him away. Yeah. Now he said, you went out to see a prophet. Take it all of that prophet. Yeah. Yeah. You went out to see a man that took up his cross. Give yeah. the will of God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine a man living out in the wilderness to the rain? Through the storm. No, never other than the savages of life. Oh, and how, oh. Don't let me run ahead of my man. God, I want to thank you, stand your heart by the Spirit this morning. Amen. Did only the will of God at the time that he was born. And then after all of that, he had to go down in prison and lay his life down for the cross. He couldn't lay the cross down. Because the kingdom of God was dependent upon Tom at that time. Amen. God couldn't fail. God was dependent upon him. He was a measure that was the forerun. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. And I want to tell you this morning, you predestinated seed of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You had a cross to bear too. Amen. God was dependent on you. Amen. 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 Oh, but many of you. You took your cross, took it down to Jeffersonville, Indiana, Amen. and laid it on one little man. Lay on you, it passed the spine. Amen. 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 The kingdom of God was dependent upon John. Amen. <clears throat> he knew it. He knew that the scripture spoke of himself. Amen. And I know also, though I be the least of all among them, the scriptures speak of me also. Amen. Oh, I am the Son of God. Amen. 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 Amen.
I've been in love with him from the first time I met him. I made a mistake and I wanted to give up, but there was something that I wanted to step me keep going and going and going. And I'm going to keep the pressure on him. in the wilderness, in the rain, and in the snow, without any food to drink most of the time, and nothing to eat, come in and was made a spectacle under all the great learned priests with their great pine robes of linen. He came in an old camel air coat. Amen. Now, when the man around his flying, he had the word of God. Amen. He said his prayer. Amen. 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 Oh, and to every woman, to every boy, and every girl, and it's going down your cross. Repent this morning and take up your cross. Amen. Find yourself in the word of God. Amen. Say, now I'm a son of God. Amen. Now I'm a daughter of God. Amen. Bear that cross. Must Jesus bear his cross alone? And all the world go free? No, there is a cost for you, and there is a cost for me. Amen. Why, the apostles must have known that there was more to it than what they saw. They saw a man just exactly like John. A man one day said, How can I enter into heaven? Jesus said, Thou knowest the commandments. He said, well, I've kept them all the days of my life. He said, yes, that's right. But he said, one thing thou lackest. Go and sell all you have and give it to poor. Jesus knew the very thing that would cause him not to take up his cross. And he hit that very thing. And that was his possession. And the man went away fast. But may the Lord lift his up in eyes and torment and say, Oh, Father, lay down. Give me a drink of cold water down here. Let me go back then and tell my brothers to take up their cross. Forget their money, forget everything. He said, No, he said, just stay here in hell. That's where you're going to stay. That's where you're going to stay, he said. Because if they wouldn't Believe the word of God in the prophets. Amen. Neither shall the money pass so he rose from the dead. Amen. 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 True. Amen. Amen. So we find that Jesus knew the very core of that man's trouble and he hid it. And I tell you this morning, the word of God is a deterrent of the prophet and intent of our life. Amen. Amen. He said that this morning, the word of God will find you out. He will pass the very place. Well, you failed to take up your cross and follow it. Amen. Amen. Maybe you're one this morning. Instead of you putting your money into the gospel, you put it into the nice things in your home. And the Bible says, don't lay up for yourself treasure on earth, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven like John and Jesus did. Amen. Lay up for yourself treasures in heaven because all the money that you waste on the most expensive passes, the more money you waste on the most expensive Things in your home, you get no reward for that. Amen. You receive your reward from the comfort of that luxury. But Jesus said those things will rust and rot and decay. Bring it for yourself, traitors in heaven. But either rot, rust, moth, or thieves break through and steal. Amen. 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 Oh, my we're so full of vanity this morning. We're so full of pride this morning. Amen. We need to repent and get a good portion of the Holy He knows that's what it is to reach down in everybody's word and get that thing out of your life. Amen. Ah, the apostles must have known that something was strange about this man. Another man said, Let me be thy disciple. I'll follow you wherever you go. He looked right at him. 
The word of God is a designer of the intent of the heart. Amen. The word of God designed the land. He said, go home and count the cost. That's what we need to do this morning. Amen. We need to count the cost. The world council of churches are pissing in. And the Amen. martyrdom of the pride of Jesus Christ is at hand. If you can't take up your cross on these little things, how will you be able to bear your cross when the tribulations and the persecutions of the peace come upon you? Amen. You will not be able to do it unless you're filled full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 If you're sitting around and not bearing your cross and thinking that the latter rain is going to fall upon you and see you with the Holy Ghost, you are the seed of the devil. For well, now is the time to be sealed with God. Man has caught preach desperation. Amen. He preached the token first, and then he preached desperation Amen. that you better get the token. You better not wait day or night until you get that token. He said, Amen. 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 Hey, I want to ask you something. I know all the people that's moved there, so on, and not a one of them has the Holy Ghost. I know every one of them's by. Who has the Holy Ghost or not? Amen. Amen. Don't have it. Thinking that the latter rain is going to seal them. It'll never come that way. You've got to take up your cross. Amen. 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 Do yourself to God. Amen. He said God gave the Holy Ghost and let you have the I don't care if you stand shoulder to shoulder to William Brown. That will not get you filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Probably get you farther away from God than you ever was. Yeah. There's immorality around. Yeah. There's sexuality around. There's evil spirits on people around him. Antichrist spirits. Every kind of a thing that you can imagine of they believe. But they don't take up their cross and follow after Jesus. Amen. Amen. God did not send Malachi poor as the author and the finisher of my faith. What makes stagger so happy? He sent Jesus as the offering to his in any other way and I speak to you in the name of the Lord the Father who are the seed of the devil in your name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Somebody has joy Amen. because the word of God brings joy. Amen. 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 The Lord gave us a message on the corn. He gave us a message on the wine. Amen. He gave us a message on the oil. Amen. And he said the seed of Jezreel would in the last days see the harvest field of perishing. And they would have the, the corn. And they would have the wine the stimulation of the revelation. Of the restoration of the faith of Jesus Christ. Let's take the word of God and say the generation of ungodly believers with the word of God. And brother, if you're disobeying when I'm preaching you this morning, your joy is short lived yeah. because the Bible says the hypocrite's joy is but for a moment. Yeah. 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 The hypocrite is anything that doesn't play. The hypocrite word came from the Greek yeah. and it meant an actor. Don't be after not a believer. Amen. If you're a believer, be what you're praying. Amen. Come on, you're the point from the Word of God. Amen. 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 Get your nice things in your home. Amen. Bring all this moving around. Amen. Get down on your knees and begin to pray. Keep God and get full of the Word of God. Read your Bible. Know your Bible. Amen. Don't get late. Can I come preaching to you, William Brown? 
come preaching out of the battle. I preached things before he preached them. And that thought they were just as painless. as you Amen. 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 Just put a different inter interpretation on them. But God is his own interpretation. Amen. 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 His word. Amen. 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 Can you say me? Yes. We know that that man lifted up his eyes and held the poor man because he loved his nice home. He loved a nice son of you women. Get out of love with your home. Let Jesus come into all of your heart. Amen. 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 We live in a three room house, kitchen, front room, and living room. Well, oh, we'll let Jesus come in the kitchen. We'll let him maybe come in one other room. Why don't you let Jesus? Come in and fill every room in your heart this morning. He may keep a lot of things out of those rooms that you got in there. He may not allow those things out in the garden. He may not have no place to raise his head. Amen. He may not have no place to raise his head. Up on the nicer things of the world. Why don't you take the cheapest thing? Amen. Do without all that you can do without. Put the money in a gospel. <clears throat> Lay it before yourself, praises, and I'm preaching the word. Amen. 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 Brother Watts was working plenty of overtime, making plenty of money, leaving this message and putting it in the bank. And the little brother come along. He began to tell him how much he'd saved. How much he was making. This brother said, Glory to God, amen, brother. Amen. Make it, make it, put it in there. He said, What are you so happy about? He said, Don't you know God's going to have a church with all things in common and some of that money you got there be mine? Right now, right now, I have to see my heart. I do it all. And he's got a bad countenance about that. Amen. 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 You used to give him this one. Amen. 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 Jesus was showing what the cross meant when they didn't get it. They didn't get it right then. Neither did Simon one day when all the big wheels with their fine robes, their fine sandals were Pounds up on them, pearls, and all their palacitaries wrapped around their arm. Ah, oh, but they didn't know what was inside that little man with his sackcloth robe on. Amen. I said sackcloth robe. Amen. Turn your Bibles over to Psalm 69. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of us think we burn across the door. We're so to see. Thank you, Lord to God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters are coming to my soul. Mm -hmm. I think in a deep mire. This is Jesus. Where there is no standing. I am coming to deep waters where the floods overflow me. I'm weary of my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Yeah. How many people do you know after waiting up on the Lord hour after hour instead of fellowshipping with the brother and everybody else that's waiting up on God yeah. until the eyes become red from crying? Do the soul become fire from weeping and crying out for the abominations of the city and to see our brethren all separated the way we are today? Amen. How many is crying like that? I would say Mark Bowles that are weeping and crying between the porch and the altar. Those have been sealed by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Now, where's your call today? How long has it been you went since you went into your pair of closet? Separated yourself from all the phone calls. All your long tongues hang out. Putting power and interpretations on the tapes. Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been since you climbed into a pair of closet and wept and fastened until your eyes become red and your throat become dry? Yeah. I'll tell you why you haven't done it in so long. Because you haven't been filled with God yet. When you get filled with God, Amen. your eyes become God's eyes. Amen. And your hands become God's hands. Your mouth becomes God's mouth. No wonder that Jesus could cry. It was God crying, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Where is your cross? It comes a cross when you have to go into an old dark prayer closet. I pray in the dark. It's like to pray in the dark. I like to go and shut the door because the Bible says shut the door. In the Amen. Prayer. How long has it been since you've been in your prayer closet wherever it is with God? Why you make believe you've got the Holy Ghost when you know that these things in the Bible prove that you don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 It proves it. Praise God. He comes across the bear for you when you have to go in that prayer closet. <clears throat> Oh, you say, I've got a brother that can raise the dead. He can open a planet eyes. He can read the thoughts of the mind. There's nothing that hid from him. But what about you? Amen. 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 He took on his cross. Amen. He was so weak he couldn't climb the telephone poles from fasting. Amen. He wanted to play God overnight. He said, you know not the cause of this. Amen. But he counted the ball. And it was worth the price. So he paid the price. He gave up his cause. And God began to manifest his word for us. God said it. You do those things too. Beg your pardon. If you'd take up your cross, and you, if you would count the price, whether or not it was worth it. Amen. A little man took up his cross and followed after him daily. Some minute you disobey the word of God, you let down the cross. The minute you know that you don't have a personal power with an intercession of the Holy Ghost, I said you cannot even pray like you want to pray without the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, pray in the Holy Ghost. Give it up your most holy faith. We got to pray in the Holy Ghost. We got to preach in the Holy Ghost. We got to pray in the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Speak in your ear without the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 He speaks to you to call you to repentance. Amen. 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 I said you couldn't hear him Amen. because the voice is so still. Amen. He speaks that takes a supernatural. Amen. 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 The Holy Ghost of Amen. 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 When you hear the tapes of that prophet, then if you have the Holy Ghost, that radar set will never lead you contrary to the word of God. Amen. You will see the same thing. the same thing. Then what are you going to do? I got you now. Amen. Got you. The word of God got you. Amen. That's right. Amen. When it gets us, and we just got to repent. Amen. 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 It's me all the time. Amen. And I love it to be so. Amen. Amen. And if you need the Holy Ghost as a radar set to pick up the pain that's coming on the tape and apply to the Word of God, then how about the people that don't have the Holy Ghost and are putting the power and supplication to the Word of the Lord? Amen. Amen. And it's time to open the Bible ministry. Yeah. Come on, Lord, take the Bible ministry out because it doesn't believe in them. You are the seed of an act of black spirit in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You need to get the Holy Ghost. Repent. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then you'll be with one with us. Amen. Amen. Listen, if that spirit that's leading people to Connecticut is of the Lord, then we've got a wrong spirit here. Amen. 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 Then how come that God can burn his word to heal people in their seats and back out of them? Hallelujah. They take me to Connecticut, Brother John Craig. Brother Russell, take me to that group. And get up and, and repeat the revelation that you're all repeating over the phones and everything. Then let me see the Holy Ghost fall and fill you, and I'll believe. 
Confirming his word in a mighty word. Amen. 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 Every week, Hallelujah. how many of them go down here? And yet they took a lot out of five, four minutes for me along with them. Yeah. Because he's mine and I tied for him. Yeah. I love him and you better love him. Amen. Amen. He's going to have an assembly somewhere. Amen. Somewhere he's going to get somebody to be honest. Amen. Sincere and believe the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to nail a woman. Don't believe in a fivefold. I wish I had a broom right now. I wish I had a broom. Blessed be I'd show you. Blessed be I'd show you, Blessed be I'd show you something that you're so to see. Give me that chair. Blessed be the Hallelujah. That's too heavy. I can't hold it. I want a broom. Bring me a broom. I want you to take a hold of that hand with one that room with one finger, sir. One finger. I want you to hold. You can't do it. The Bible said that the body of Jesus Christ was his body. Did Jesus have a hand? Amen. Did he have a head? Amen. Did he have a leg? Amen. Did he have two legs? Amen. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth? Amen. A stomach and all the organs in it? Amen. Amen. Put two fingers on it. I'm just going to show you a fivefold ministry and you can get the rest of it yourself. Two fingers. Two fingers. Hold it, two fingers. Well, you can't hold it. No. Well, you mean tell me that there's no apostle? <laughs> there's an apostle right there. There's a prophet. Uh, uh, there's this. Now, prophet, he's the only one now. There ain't no Bible ministry. All right, Brother Brown, you hold that. Hold it. You can't do it. You need a fivefold ministry, Brother Amen. 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 But he knows it. Why does he go around ordained all the time? Amen. Amen. All right. Or you got to hold two fingers. you got to cross an apostle now. I'm going to give you an advance. All right, that's all we are now. We don't need no teaching. Mm. Come on, hold a room. You can't do it. All right, I'm going to give you a teacher. I put five mm. fingers on it. Man. Start pulling. Now, <laughs> 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 I'm somewhere in there. Disciple <coughs> somewhere. Hallelujah. You're the bride. You may be my toe. I love that toe. Don't cut that toe off me. Amen. Don't you come on let no spirits cut off my toe. I won't like that. I need to walk up the stairs with you. Yeah. Don't you take out my kneecap and make my bones be a cracking walking down the street. Yeah. Don't you take out my ear. I need two of them. He Amen. said, be slow to speak and quick to listen. you got two ears. Amen. 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 Don't take out two ears.
naked that would have just held a thorn in prayer and kept a hold of their cross and loved one another. I, I'm sorry I am. I ask you to forgive me up until I failed you. I wish that I'd ride this God to smile or lay the blame on me. Oh, I'm so sorry. You could have a Holy Ghost in your midst right now. Yes. You could be ready for this outpouring of the latter rain. Amen. And Brother Pam might have sat in our midst in a perfect assembly. Yes. He said before he died, he prayed that God and let him walk into a perfect assembly. Oh, 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 knows just what to do. Amen. He always wanted to destroy it, and he finally Amen. succeeded. Amen. It looks like, but I don't believe he has. And they'll all go to see the truth when the priests are in there. Because the Holy Ghost has led us to the land. He is able to make You better be meek. You better be humble when the tail has snared your brother. Her nature that you be snared also. You better fear God that he don't. The tail don't snare you. Amen. 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 Some people, when our brothers and sisters fall in air, some of the preachers maybe, and the brothers maybe want to unchristianize them. I don't know that any wants to do that. I don't know any brother that doesn't love every brother and sister. Amen. Amen. I am convinced of that. I am convinced in the scriptures that he hath, he hath begin a good work in you on the day that I ministered in a full gospel businessmen. He that begin a good work in you that day. I have confidence. That he is able to make you stand and fill you with the Holy Ghost and see you up in the pastor. Amen, Lord God. Come heed under the doctrine. You'll be able to save those and save yourself if you continue in that doctrine. Amen. 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 Well, there's a cross there. We've everyone let down our cross. We've everyone laid it down. But there is coming a time, and that time is now. Now is the time to set your face like a plant on the wood of man. Stay with it. Amen. Love one another because the Holy Ghost will fill that vessel that's repented and it's in love with you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Our sisters have laid down their cross by rattling their tongues not being in subjection to their husbands. You can never receive the Holy Ghost, Amen. you women. You can never go in the rapture Amen. unless you follow your tongue because the scripture said he or she that follows by her his tongue religion is in vain. Amen. You are a vain worker for the swine if you don't get into subjection to your husband. You can go in the rapture. Amen. Amen. Without getting in subjection Amen. to your husband. Amen. Amen. You men that don't send your house in order Put your children in the subjection to you. Yes. Do not think to come into the house of God and say he's praying. The Bible said that the head of every man was Christ. Then why do you men talk about the ministers of God when the angel himself that was contending uh, with the devil about the body of the body of Moses? The angel said, He dare not to bring an accusation against the devil. He said, The Lord rebuke thee, said. Until the time coming, God, who makes the manifest to the secrets of his heart by the discernment of the word, will set things in order. Amen. 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 Thank you, you say amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And women get in subjection. You men, some of your children are in terrible shape. Some of the minister's children's in terrible shape everywhere. Amen. How about 
How many times have you got down with your little daughter and prayed with her, told her how much you loved her, told her how much Jesus loved her? How many times you're going to heaven to what about her? She needs the Holy Ghost too. Every joy, every morning, every day, every day needs a message about the Holy Ghost. You need to get down and pray with them. Tell them about the end of time and everything. Amen. Amen. You say in there. Amen. Amen. It's house clean time. Amen. The fire will say, Now, the judgment begins at the house of God. They're going to drive the whole thing. Amen. Let's receive our judgment. Amen. 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 So that we can get filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. All right. <coughs> yes. Hallelujah. We need a garden experience of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus was in the garden. He told old Peter, hurry, puke thee, Satan. Satan got on old Peter. Amen. 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 I said, Satan got on old Peter. Amen. Amen. How many times old Satan got on you? Amen. When you talked about some of the medicine. Amen. You got to repent of that. Amen. I don't know what, kind, what they're doing wrong. I'm talking about you now. Amen. I, I'm getting the ministers too. Amen. I'm hitting the ministers Amen. too. Amen. That's the word God hit me. Amen. Let it go. Let it hit me. I don't lie up with the word of God. Amen. I'm saying one well, of these stones I can fall to me. Amen. I see false in me. Amen. He sees more false in me than he sees in him. Amen. 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 Joe sees my fault. I see his fault. Amen. Amen. I'm not no Catholic priest. I confess my sins to this man. I don't you stand in the face of God and Since you got down with your wife and said, I love you, darling. You're the sweetest wife that God ever gave a man. Honey, I love you. Let's pray together here. Let's dedicate our life to be as never before. Instead of that, old Satan jumped on you, and old Satan jumped on you, husband, and you said things to your wife that was rocky. You wanted to hurt her. You better go and repent to that woman. You can't go in a rapture like that. You need to repent of your sins this morning, wherever you are. You want that talk back to your husband and wanted to hurt them in the little ways that you've got to do it. You better repent this morning. Amen. 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 Am
Now, you know all that fanaticism and all those spirits that's flying around the season down there. He said, yes, but there's 7,000 that won't believe it. They're with you. Amen. Amen. He said, they're, they're going to be I said, just go out and see if there's a cloud. Somewhere. And I've always stored the word. Amen. I proved that I was the prophet to restore the faith. Amen. And faith comes by hearing the word. God said, go out there. There's a cloud. Amen. Go five times. He said, there ain't none. Go six. And like I said, it wasn't I'm tired. He said, this, go one more time. Seven. Amen. Amen. Go one more time. Seven. You're living in a seventh day. You're living in a seventh day. You're living in a last dispensation of time. And he said, Oh, it's like there is a bride. Should I see it like a man's hand? There is a bride with healing in his wings. It is. Like the apostles, evangelists, the pastors, and teachers. He said, It looks like a man's hand. Amen. To hold the vine on the word of God. And even if the prophet is martyred, they got a hand there to keep them in the world. Amen. to go in a rapture right now. Don't say there was not believers make believers in it. Now you prove it. I want you. I want Jesus to glorify himself. Amen. I want to go up there and say, here comes old Bob receiving his martyr's crown. headed for the testimony of Jesus and the Word of God. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And on the way to now, the spirit of prophecy is be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. Obeying the Word of God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Like that, rule and reign with Christ a thousand years. You getting tired? Oh, All right, we'll take you to the garden now. Just a minute. Jesus went in the garden. Never laid down his cross from the time that he was able to walk around. Twelve years old, he was about his father's business. Yeah. Though he was young and learning and things, he was still about his father's business. Yeah. He said, woman, did you know I was about my father's business? Not building houses, making doors, but about the word of God. Yeah. Amen. And then he went into the garden about his father's business. He said, oh, Peter, John, he said, come on, get down and pray with me. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. He said, for the deal of thine house is eaten yeah. Peter. And the reproaches of all my people has fallen upon me. So pray with me, Lord, right? won't you? And he said, sure, we'll pray with you, Lord. And then the scripture said, I went and wept and chastened my soul there in the garden and fasted. Is that right? Amen. 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 And that was to my reproach. He come back after he prayed, he said, Lord, I bear the cross this far. <clears throat> now, Lord, it's just about finished. God, give me that strength that I need, Lord, to go down and lay my life down for my friend. <clears throat> I want you! I want you this morning! You ready to lay down all your desires? The love of your home, the love of your house, the love of going here, the excitement of this and the excitement of that. You able to take your cross and go into the garden of prayer with Jesus? Are you able, like Jesus, to raise up a great pile before a day of praying? Are you able to pray all night for your brothers and for the sin and the dying of the world? Or do you just want to see what man do it? Are you ready to go into the garden with Jesus this morning? Are you ready to repent all the things that you've done wrong? Jesus is dependent on you to go into the garden. There's a cross for you and there's a cross for me. Jesus said, not my will, Lord, but thy be done. What will I do? Ah, predestinated this son. What am I going to do now if I fail to die for him? I will say that great alive as no man had to lay down to the desires of your place or your brother me, your brother Kevin, your brother here, your brother Sam, your brother Joe. Lay down your life. Take up your cross. 
with passing and prayer and the firing of your tongue. There's too much talking in a place today. Amen. Who want to keep our own personalities to be, to be like? But Amen. you better lose your personality Amen. and quit entertaining people and take on the personality of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's too much laughing. There's too much loud talking. Amen. When the Bible said, I will your tongue. Amen. For God shall give, you shall give account to God for every idle word that you didn't need to say. You give account for it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Any word that you don't need to say, the Bible said, don't say it. No matter if you can't make the people laugh and jump up and down. We need to let the Holy Ghost come into us and possess us. Take up our cross and live just like Jesus. He said, except a man. Love me more than father, wife, sister, brother. You're not worthy. Amen. Amen. Take up your cross and follow after me daily. Amen. And your cross, let me pin it down, is obeying the word of Amen. God. Amen. It becomes a cross when the women have to pound their mouths and not talk back to their husbands. Amen. It becomes a cross when the men have to love their wives more than they love your flesh. I'm quoting Scripture. Amen. Amen. Love your wives more than you love your flesh. Amen. Is that inspired? Amen. 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 Why don't the ministers obey all these things? Amen. Why do we speak idly? Why do we want to keep our own personalities Amen. when we see Jesus Christ coming in the clouds of glory? Amen. Let me do don't you want a transfiguration experience this morning? Amen. Amen. Don't you want to be transfigured into a son of God? Amen. Do you repent this morning? Amen. Do you take your life a new oh, from God? Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Did not the prophet say, the bride will be just like him, the headstone. Amen. Take up your cross and follow up with the headstone. Well, I did that last week. Daily. Amen. Amen. Hourly. Job said, Oh, Lord, God, why don't you leave me alone? Take you try me every minute and every hour of the day. Don't try me every minute. Every hour of the day, you see what you're not going to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless God. The Bible said, Joy, my God. I do not ever I'll ever mess he tries me because I will not deny his word. Amen. 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 I tell you, the ministers is in trouble this morning. Amen. Amen. I said they're in trouble this morning. Amen. And that's me. I heard it come out of my mouth now. I've got to live it too. Amen. But I'm Amen. setting my face like a flint to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you see it in me? And go pray for me, and God will speak to me out of it. Amen. I'll repeat it to you. Amen. 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 The prophet said, finally after the bride, the bride receives the seal of the Holy Ghost, then after that, in the latter rain, Amen. there would come a showdown Amen. between which is bride and which is not. Amen. And it said they'll never even speak a word Amen. unless God tells them to. Amen. Amen. Jesus never spoke unless it was eternal life. Amen. Oh, we speak funny things. We speak jokey things. We cry and we do everybody else. We need to stop it today. Amen. Amen. Now hear me. Amen. Amen. Because he said the pride would never speak <coughs> nothing Amen. unless the Heavenly Father told him to speak. Amen. Brother, that is perfection. Amen. He said they'd never do nothing except the heavenly father showed first sister. Amen. But it said they'd speak the word. Amen. Create things and everything. Amen. They stopped the heavens that it wouldn't rain. Amen. Well, you're listening to tape. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, Children, brothers and sisters, don't you realize where we're standing this morning? I told you when I come here that God... Well, I didn't say God, Joe. I just said I saw. I saw that God has got this group far advanced from anything that I've seen Thank you, in the United States. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You see what kind of message the Lord's giving you this morning? Amen. He's wanting you to obey this now. Amen. And if you do, you're going to see the most tremendous thing in your life. Amen. 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 Am
can't you say amen? I said, Jesus said, come back, Lord. Oh, I know how that hurt, Lord. Nails going in my hand. The spirit inside, how am I going to stand it, God? You say, yes, Brother Bob, but that was God praying. No, that was Jesus, God's humanity praying. Jesus. Amen. His humanity was like your humanity. Amen. He got sick, he got hungry. Amen. He got depressed. Amen. <laughs> He got weary. He got tired. Amen. He was tired in a boat. When he was asleep in a boat. But when he rose up and said, Peace be still. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh God. He wanted at the tomb like you and I do over one another. Because we love him. Amen. But brother, when he said lives would come forth. Hallelujah. He can only say that through the cross. Amen. Amen. You may think that you're going in the rapture. But if you don't raise the dead. You don't open up blind eyes. If you don't heal the sick, then you don't have a thought inside of you. Yeah. And you say, close that window. And you can't go in the rapture. Amen. 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 God's down in you, friend. If, he ain't, if he's down in you, he's going to be doing something. <laughs> you see, I got the Holy Ghost in If you ever heard him speak up out of you and it wasn't you speaking? then you need to have a prayer life. You may have the Holy Ghost, but brother, you got him pinned up or he can't speak out of it. Amen. We need to let God have his wonderful way. Amen. Let God have his wonderful way in you. Amen. You've got to obey the word of God or the cross will never be able to stay on you. Amen. Obey the word of God, bear the cross, Amen. and then you'll go and have a mouth transfiguration experience. Amen. 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 You will be transfigured Hallelujah. with the glory of God. Amen. Their shadow will heal people. Amen. 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 You can be feet on the back and nothing and that will be nothing but joy, unspeakable and glory. Glory to Jesus. It is written that it is right. You have a battle experience now. The spirit's trying to deceive you. Get you to run here and do and fall there, there, there. Here, there, and everywhere. God said, be still. Amen. Be quiet. Amen. Isn't that what the prophets say on the tape? Amen. 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 Then the devil makes you run here and run there. He don't want you to get out and bear that call because he knows it. The prophet said, Word of pride is failing now. She needs a Gethsemane experience, he said. She needs to cry out, Lord God, my will, but by the seal of your word, it's me. He don't want my cry out. Amen. Amen. And let me be yours. Amen. 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 Holy divine Amen. Amen. Holy Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's a song that goes like this. If you need a mouth to speak, Lord, speak through me. If you need a hand to cut some poor, broken down soul. Let my hand be your hand, yes, Lord. Jesus, yes. Lord, let me be yours this morning, Jesus. Oh, he said, strengthen the feeble knees. Strengthen the weak hand. You need a strong hand to take a hold of the sword of the word of God this morning. You need firm, strong knees to stand. And have you stand, have your Lord girded about with truth. Yeah. And cut your way through a wall of demons and devils. Grab a hold of the promises of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, you seed of Abraham. Strengthen that hand this morning. Strengthen those knees this morning. My good house repentance here this morning. Morning. Amen. While this sister plays softly and sings softly, I want every head bowed. I want every eye closed. I want nobody looking up. 
Oh, you hard, hard people, you. How long has it been since your tear ducks of your eyes was unstopped? The Bible said that he that goeth forth and weepeth, bear and precious seed, shall doubtless come again, rejoice in bringing his sheaves with him. How long has it been since you fasted two or three days? You know that you've got these things in your heart. Why don't you purge your soul with a fast of God? How long has it been, you husbands, since you separated your sides from the, from the desires of the flesh of your wife? How long has it been since you just felt exhaust, exhaust, exhausted? at the feet of Jesus alone, and wept and repented for your slothful living. You can't say what John said. You can't say what John said. I was full with camel hair. I was cool with other than camel hair. I had no need to go with the wild honey. I had no inner spring bed to sleep on. Cars to drive, but I gave my all and carried my cross, and it cost me my head. And it set you hear the word of the Lord this morning speaking to you. If you want to heard Jesus speak to you, you'll give account this morning because it's not me speaking. For Jesus said, It's not me that speaketh, but my Father that dwells in me. Get the word. How long has it been? Can you say like Jesus said in the garden? Not my will, but mine be done. Can you say like John? Can you say like the Apostle Paul? We were distressed beyond measure. We were despaired even of life, and we had the sentence of death within us. And yet, God, Jesus, sustained us and strengthened us. We were just fasting, often, hunger and naked and destitute of everything. And yet, you want to run away from your cross and go into rapture. Oh, shame on you this morning. Shame on you if you don't repent of every sin in your life this morning.
Lord, I just kind of fell in prayer to read these scriptures to you. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. Amen. It shall come unto the presence of the Almighty God. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pain and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that prevaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be in flame. Behold, the tale of the Lord cometh through, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners of our daughters. Please, the body of the Lord.
in our midst. Amen. Amen. The Holy One of Israel has spoken to us this morning. Amen. 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 For I know that he came here, he purposed his heart, and he told Brother Hunter and myself that he was afraid to come into the pulpit. For he knows that it was not myself, nor Brother Hunt, nor the people, but he knows that it was God's hand here in New York himself. And he told me that he was in no shape to preach. And he repented to Brother Hunt and myself. And therefore, we told him that God wants him to preach and to bring the message and so forth. And we know that God has brought these messages here. Amen. And he preached a series of three of confirmation. Amen. And the Lord just spoke to his heart and also spoke to myself. I was my brother Hunt. But he told me that this is it. The last message here. The Lord will show me the same thing. For God can do no more than show you his word. Amen. He showed you his word this morning. And all those in our midst that have not received the Holy Ghost, this little congregation here, <clears throat> you know beyond the shadow of a doubt that the word of God has been preached to you throughout the year. Amen. 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 You have seen people come in here, sister, be baptized in the Holy Ghost Amen. before your very eyes. So therefore, a message was needed this morning to let all of you who have not uh, received the Holy Ghost know that there's something that you must do. <laughs> and it's simply to repent. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. So all of you here this morning, that have repented to receive the Holy Ghost, God will fill you. Amen. The word has been preached. We poured out to a dedicated, consecrated soul this morning. Brother Bob preached his heart out. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, Connecticut over here, and Brother Hunt and myself were very close to the situation. He has repented to you this morning. And so, therefore, it's on you. Whatever the Lord would have you to do with this <coughs> precious servant of the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. And surely if you were here this morning, you did hear God speak to you. Amen. Amen. I believe. I believe. I believe. Brother myself and Brother Bob and any other minister, we have a cross of air. And we need much prayer. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. You also, you have a cross of air. Amen. For God wants a group, a little dedicated, sanctified group. That he will confound the world. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord God. a shadow of a doubt, God has put this group together. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And many people are afraid of organization. That's a stumbling block to them. They think it's an organization. Hallelujah. Well, let me tell you one thing. God is organized. God is, there is no confusion in God. There's a very thin line. Even God's prophet said that there's a very thin line between man's organization and God. So one is God and one is man. But God's organization is a pattern, which is according to his word. Amen. So therefore, the only thing which you see in here today, if we, if we organize it all, is according to the word of God. Amen. So God's prophet has told us, the word of the Lord comes to the prophet. He told us how to set the church in order. Amen. And we are by his grace doing that. Amen. Hallelujah. Our song service, our very <coughs> song service, is of the Lord. Amen. And the prophet of, heaven, of God has said it should be this way. Amen. And we are obeying him right down by the letter and and by the Spirit. To Amen. the letter and by the Spirit. Amen. So therefore, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that all that we can do is to obey the word of God. Yeah. Amen. That's all we can do. And only live for today. We can take no thought for tomorrow. Yeah, amen. So therefore, we're not looking ahead today, wondering what's going to happen in the summer. <clears throat> we live this life and take up our cross daily. Amen. Amen. Die daily. amen. And that's why many people, because they do not take up their cross and die daily, they are deceived. Therefore, they must look forward to when is the rapture. Therefore, they leave a big gap in the middle. Amen. And therefore, the devil has deceived them, for they're standing here now, unrepentant, packed full of spirits and sin, and looking forward to the rapture. <coughs> Therefore, as Brother Bob said, if they take out the fivefold ministry, take it completely out, for that means that they must be in subjection to authority. Amen. A lot of people look at Jesus up in the sky, but Christ, Jesus, is here on the earth. Amen. 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 Amen.
Therefore, if you run anywhere you want to run, but you are being the seed, for God will rule through his body. Amen. In other words, the government shall be upon the shoulders. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Christ is the head, the shoulders Amen. is the spine full ministry bride of Jesus Christ Amen. that must be so honed down to fit right into the head. Amen. And Brother Bob stated, just in case you didn't understand it, he told you that you will have to <coughs> heal the sick, raise the dead, and I call the spirit. Many say, well, we don't have to do that, but the Bible says you must and will do that. For there is a portion of scripture for the bride that has not come to pass. Amen. St. John 14, 12. That's right. He that believes the Lord, the work that I do shall he do also. That has not come to pass. Amen. But it will come to pass. Amen. The three desolated men are sitting here. Yeah, I know. Man, faith, grab hold of spiritual faith and believe in that to be three desolated Manifested word of God of the hour of St. John 14, 12. Amen. Before you go in a rapture, St. John 14, 12 will come to pass. Amen. Amen. If it's not here, it will come to pass whether it's in Australia, Africa, or Amen. somewhere. Amen. God is going to have a St. John 14, 12. Amen. Manifested of the hour. Amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. That's God's word. Amen. 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 You can run. But you cannot break the scripture of God. Amen. Amen. And we thank God that right here, not because we have done anything in ourselves, but God himself was pleased to work through this group here. I agree. Amen. Through much Amen. opposition and adverse criticism. Amen. But we thank God for he gave us a vision. Amen. He said, preach the word. Amen. The instant, in season and out of season. Amen. Now, many would not understand because they're not spiritual. In order to be spiritual, you must have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So therefore, most of the people in the message do not have the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's why they run after man's flesh. Amen. But we thank God that God has given us a vision to know to preach the word. Amen. Amen. And our people in here, we're happy to say that they don't get on the phone and call Brother Branham to find out what is going on. They come here Amen. and find out Amen. Who a man standing here to find out what is going on. Amen. And they gather the water, gather the sheep, and I'll give them water. Amen. 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 We thank God for that. Hallelujah. Now, uh, we, Brother Bob spoke about the cross for the Christians. Amen. But we know that we have some sinners in here today. Hallelujah. So therefore, <laughs> friend, I want to say to you, my friend, I don't know whether you've met God in the power of the resurrection. I do not know that. And this other man, gentleman in the back here, you come here for healing. I believe that Brother Solomon testified that he was healed here. Well, that's wonderful. Amen. But we want you to know, friend, that if you don't believe, you will not be healed. Amen. Now, for therefore, if you don't believe the word of God in this hour, God wants you to repent Amen. and to be saved. Amen. So therefore, if you want to accept the gospel of Jesus Christ, if you do not want to accept that, how in the world can you even be healed? Amen. For you must believe the word of God. Amen. You know that by your strength that you're already healed. Amen. And many people have taken healing and joy and ran away and did not receive salvation. But salvation is to be preached to you this morning. Amen. And it was preached to you this morning here. Amen. So therefore, as you come for prayer here, remember in your heart that you can, this is the hour right now to take up your cross. And the other gentleman in the back over there. Because God in this hour is getting ready to pour out his wrath upon the earth. Amen. But he has, according to his own purpose, called these people in here today to hear this message. Amen. On the cross. Amen. So my friend, God will heal you. Amen. 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 That you are already Amen. Do you believe God's word? Amen. 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 Therefore, as these men come to prayer, let us remember and take heed of the words that which you heard here this morning. Glory. For God has spoken through this cleansed vessel this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Last message here. 
There is no more to say. It's been preached. Take up the cross. There's the word of God is dead to you. It's on you now. Amen. Your blood is off of his hands. He came here to New York and he dedicated himself. Now the word of God has been preached through me. He preached the word this morning. Amen. He preached the word. Hallelujah. Nobody can say that he preached any kind of fanaticism. Amen. There are going to be martyrs. There's going to be persecution. Amen. And some of us, we had to wait until we have, until we heard the prophet say, say, say it. Although it was in the word, Amen. it was already in the word, and this man here I know personally preached many things that many people did not understand for the last three or four years. But nevertheless, he preached it. Amen. So it was in the word. Amen. Amen. God called a man and showed him many things which many people did not understand nor were ready to receive. But I thank God myself, and I know I speak in behalf of Brother Hunt, that this precious brother is standing and everything that God has showed him by vision is now ready to come to pass. Amen. 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 So thank God that God has blessed him to stand here and by faith and to repent to those that he had to repent to or whatever it was for and to still, by God's grace, preach the word. Amen. Thank God. I know that God will bless that. Hallelujah.
Just open up your heart to God and raise your hands and ask the Lord to confirm the word that you already believe. Yes, Lord. I can. 